Hello everybody, I'm Caden here with Kepler Electronics, and these are my top 6 tools every Vex team should have. These aren't in any particular order, and I'm not including the obvious tools like screwdrivers or wrenches. These are just tools that I think more teams should have in their arsenal, as they either make building less frustrating or just more efficient. Let's get into it. Bolt Cutter this tool is useful in so many different ways. If you need a 1x25 strip cut, you can do it. If you've stripped a screw, you can cut it off. And if you buy a lot of the super long axles, this can help you cut them down to size. It's super useful. My team has this Cobalt brand one, which works really well and is more portable than a lot of other bolt cutters. Ratcheting Screwdriver This seems simple, but it can make a world of difference. This speeds up building, as you don't have to shift your grip as much. And if you end up breaking a bit, you can just replace it. I have this Cobalt brand one, which allows you to quickly and easily chain from tightening to loosening, and is extremely high quality. Last year, my team had two generic ratcheting screwdrivers break in us, but this one shows no signs of slowing down. This model also has bit storage built into the handle. If you can find one for your team's screw type of choice, I recommend finding a long bit that can fit through the holes and vex parts. This allows you to tighten or replace screws deep in the robot more easily. A drill. This one doesn't immediately leap to mind, but drills are perhaps one of the most useful and time-saving tools out there. If you need to get a nut onto a long screw, or if you just need to drill a hole in a Lexan or C-channel, drills make it all a lot faster. Nut Driver This tool is extremely useful, as it allows you to securely grip a nut and hold it in place while screwing it in, so unlike a wrench, it won't fall out and into your robot. They're a bit bulkier and therefore can't be used in every place on a robot, but they help speed up a lot of building, especially with nylocks. You can either get standalone nut drivers like this one here, or nut driver bits for your drills or ratcheting screwdriver. Angle Grinder Not a commonly mentioned tool in the world of Vex, but a useful one nonetheless. This tool makes quick work of cutting through nearly anything. Need some C-channel cut? What could easily take 5 minutes with a hacksaw now takes less than a minute. Our team uses this cheap Hitachi model, but you could probably get cheaper ones and it would just be fine. Make sure you get cutting discs, or your cuts won't be precise, because the grinding discs are a lot thicker than the cutting discs. And last, but definitely not least, a vise. This tool is often overlooked, but it can be incredibly useful. It can hold your parts so you don't burn or cut yourself while cutting through a piece, but it can also straighten out bent pieces, or if you want to, it can help provide rudimentary bends. These are the six tools I recommend that all VEX teams have. They are particularly expensive, and most can be bought even at the smallest hardware stores. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this, be sure to check out my top 10 tips for VEX teams video, linked right here. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.